How's everybody doing? And I hope you're all doing well. I uh, had a question on my channel about, uh, they said, uh, person, individual, I like to answer all questions. Here's the date. It's the third Sunday. Um, I had a person on my channel ask me a question of, they said that uh, good man wasn't in their Bible. And I sent them the links to my Bible, which is the King James Version, right here. It was made in 1611. I would say that that era was a lot more uh, pure than ours. Uh, I can go over all over this, but I do. I'm going to talk about the King James Version Bible. People died. The Catholic Church killed people because of they didn't want another Bible. The Catholic Church wants to feed you their information, and you don't even have a Bible in church, in a Catholic Church. I know. I know all about it. I was an altar boy. I went through catechism. Uh, they want to feed you. They don't even want you to read your Bible. And back in this era, you just were supposed to do as you're told. And I will go over about Bibles right now. So... This is what this part of my video is about. It's to my brother, because my brother does it right here, and he does a good job. Light for everyone, what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things? They took out by Jesus Christ. Why? Who would be so despicable as to change the word of God? Verse 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father? Where did they take out of our Lord Jesus Christ? Who's doing this? I can't believe it. I have to find out. Colossians chapter 3 verse 6. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. What? On account of these, the wrath of God is coming? They took out on the children of disobedience. This can't be right. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 5. This verse condemns who's doing this. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such, withdraw thyself. Not again. And constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and depra deprived of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Why doesn't it say from such withdrawal thyself? I don't understand. Who would change the holy word of God, the King James Bible? Who would change the Bible? CERN is behind it, in other words. And if that isn't enough proof for you, how about this? Vatican Council 2, page 112, but since the word of God must be readily available at all times, the church with motherly concern sees to it that suitable and correct translations are made into various languages, especially from the original texts of the sacred books. If when the opportunity presents itself and the authorities of the church agree, these trans translations are made jointly with churches separated from us. They can then be used by all Christians. It is CERN, the Catholics and Evangelicals, relying on the Nestle's text. CERN is behind the perversion of the King James Bible. I want to show you one other thing. I openly showed you two different sources where the Catholic Church admits that they are joining with evangelicals to change the text of the King James Bible. I've already showed you the proof. And you see, when you change the text and you no longer have a Bible that you can rely on, then you bring in your church traditions, like the Catechism. Or how about the Canons and Decrees of the Council of Trent? The Baltimore Catechism. 
Or how about The Church Teaches by Jesuit Fathers of St. Mary's College? You see, this is the real issue. When you reject this book as your final authority, you will start to add your own beliefs and feelings and traditions. You will become a Catholic in practice, in all matters of faith and practice. You might disagree on some doctrinal issues, the new version people, but in practice you will become a Roman Catholic. Of course you will. Why? You don't have a or an authoritative standard, a reliable authoritative standard. Okay, I do agree with him because, like I said, I was uh, in the Catholic Church. I was an altar boy. I was raised Catholic. I went through catechism. They want to tell you what. They give you a missalette when you come into church. You pray to Mary. Um, my mother, which was Catholic, she was saved, but uh, she would always pray, Mother, Mother of God. Uh, not the Lord's Prayer, as I'm telling you, as the Lord shows us how to do out of the King James Version Bible. So, I agree with them, and that's why they change things. Um, right here, um, this is the new King, King James Version Bible. This was put out in 1982. So, this is... I, I wouldn't even use this Bible right here. Uh, I have found a lot of things. She was using this Bible and, and telling me that certain things weren't in there. I will go over that too, which there's things in there. My Bible, which I use, people were martyred making this Bible. I don't know. I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put in this video right here. You can watch it for yourself. It's right here, the history of the King James Bible right here. It will show you how the Catholic Church fought. They tried to even kill King James because he was um, he was king. He could do whatever he want. He took whatever he want. There was 52 people, I think, in the video. You can see it. There's other videos that talk about it, too. So I only use this Bible right here. I know when I read the Bible, when I read... The Bible, the Lord speaks to through the Bible to me. His word speaks to me. Like I said, in how do you change it? You go over here. And you go down like this. And you change it. These are all the different Bibles. How confusing. See right here, these are all the Bibles. I have went back on here and for some reason it changed on me. This is the one I use right here. But actually what I do is I keep it right here. And as you've all seen before, um, I just keep it on this right here. This is this right here. Uh, you can go on your phone and it's um, kingjamesversion.com. Uh, I've done that and it's changed the audio. And it's right here. This is the one I use all the time. I think in all my videos, I've never used anything else except maybe once for a cross-reference. I think I did. So, I will keep, I will uh, put this video right here. I will put this video down here about um, the King James Version Bible. The history of the King James Version Bible. It does very good. It talks about it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to go over this because I had a... a somebody on my channel um say they couldn't find it and then what i do is i push in here like you all see um i will talk about this next um which is something i wanted yes now i'm going to go over this the godhead the father the son in the holy ghost the holy spirit father son and the holy spirit I will go over this right now. These are the Bible verses. It's called the Godhead. You can you can read these in the Bible. And um, I had somebody ask me a question I had before about, uh, like I said, I pray to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, like I said, you can read these for yourself. These are um, the verses for it. 
and I want to put that out there because uh, some people they want to know and I will go over this this is another verse too I like this one this one is also explains it first John 5 whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments Amen. and his commandments are not grievous for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that Jesus is the son of God this is he that came by water and blood even Jesus Christ not by water only but by water and blood and it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth spirit but there are three that bear record in heaven the father the word and the holy ghost and these three are one amen there you and go there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one if we receive the witness of men the witness of god is greater but this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. There you go. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Amen. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is... So there you go, as I said right here. It says, for these their record in heaven, the Father and the Holy Ghost right there. And these three are one, which is Jesus the Father, and the Holy Ghost, three in one. And like I said, you can take and read these verses for yourself right here. And it explains it just as I explained it right there, just showing you one verse. But uh, I love you all. And uh, like I said, this is just answering questions. And uh, you can do this for yourself, study this for yourself. Like I said, don't ever listen to me. You take everything to the Lord. But like I said, I use the King James Version Bible. These people were prosecuted and burned by the stake for making the King James Version Bible. Uh, it was uh, set up as I show right here. I'll put it right here. And I will put this video in my next and you can, this isn't the only video. You can check this stuff out for yourself. Love you all. And here it is right here. History of the King James Bible, the perfect word. Right here. In the year 1516, a man named Erasmus restored the true Greek text from Antioch to the people of Europe. To so, this is not the only one. There's other ones too, but... People were died. The uh, King James, they tried to kill him. They tried to smear his name. Uh, King James had 10 kids, I think, and, and a wife. 
and uh, he only had one wife from what I understand and uh, you know it's not back then they could have took two or three wives King James I believe only had one he had ten kids and uh, like I said uh, love you all and I wanted to put that out there because there's people asking me questions and then I like to answer questions love you all yes I like to answer all questions on my channel and uh, as I said I had a question every once in a while I have uh, um, somebody come on my channel and say well uh, um the rapture isn't in the Bible. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to argue with these people. I had a lady on my channel a while ago. She listens to Musha. And she... I have said, stated this to Musha, and I will go over it right now, uh, about re, uh, redeem, or excuse me, um, rapture isn't in the Bible. Well, it says right here, it says... Uh, it says right here, as I have stated before, this is in the Torah. This is not in the Bible. This is in the Torah, which the Torah is the Old Testament. So it says right here, it says, I will even go to Babylon and the Lord shall redeem them from the hands of their enemies. And then you go down here a little bit farther and it talks about the threshing floor right here. But the thoughts of the Lord, neither do they understand his counsel. Some people don't understand his counsel. Some people, Jesus talked about the good seeds. He put the good seeds down. You can't make these people understand because he said about, about the harvest and about the sower. He sows the seeds, the good seeds. He told the people in the boat, he told the disciples they didn't, these people didn't understand. He didn't give them knowledge to understand. It says, for he gathered them on the threshing floor. Arise, right here. The Lord's wrath. Well, this is in Micah chapter 4, which I have stated before. This is just one verse. It talks about being redeemed. We are redeemed from the hands of our enemies. So these people think that we have to go through tribulation, great tribulation, excuse me, great tribulation. Uh, that's not correct. There's all three groups, as I said, and to go in the rapture, be redeemed, you have to be waiting for the Lord. If you're not waiting for the Lord, I would be very cautious of anybody coming on my channel and stating that there's no rapture because that's on your head. That's on your head. You're misleading people. Right here, the meaning of redeemed. Right here. His best suit had been redeemed from the pawnbroker. In other words, it's being purchased. Jesus purchased us. He's coming for his purchase. Right here. Redeem themselves, right here, compensary, justified, rescued, rescued. So we will be rescued, we will be redeemed, be rescued from the hands of our enemies. This is Micah chapter 4 in the Torah, which the Torah is the Old Testament. So, these are the Bible verses for redeemed. You can read them yourself. Well, Micah in the Old Testament in the Torah, it says right here, threshing for, gathering. But they did not know the thoughts of the Lord, neither did they understand his counsel, for he gathered them as sheaves upon the floor. This is also in Revelation. This is all thrown through the Bible. The threshing floor this is the gathering um, so anybody that tells you the reason why they don't understand the Lord didn't give them eyes to see so they don't understand and there's nothing you can do to tell them uh, they just read they don't read Luke 
actually Musha, this one woman that came on my channel, I I uh, I listen to Musha. Musha never reads Luke, never. He always goes to Matthew, and that's why he has a problem because he he can't explain Luke. Because in Luke it says the bride and the bridegroom. It says blessed earth. It doesn't in Luke it says uh, pray always that you're accounted worthy to escape all these things in Luke. Well, if you read it from Matthew, you'll never find that. So he's reading from the long wrong. He should be reading in Luke, but it's also in the Torah. So I just wanted to explain that. I've got other things on the Bible that I'm going to explain today. Love you all. Bye. Now, this is the last part of my video, and I will answer these questions right now. Now, are we in tribulation right now? I had somebody ask me questions, which, yes, I do believe that. There's a lot of us on YouTube that believe the same thing. Brenda Whitner is one of them and others. Now, if you look at right there, it says in Mark, but in those days... After the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened and the moon not give her light. That hasn't happened yet. It says, but after the tribulation of those days. Right here. Right here. Same thing. Might have peace in the world and ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Right here. This Jesus said that. Okay tribulation then you go down here revelations is very clear about it because this is talking to the churches right here it says fear none of these things he's talking to the church behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison and tribulation 10 days be faithful to death and i will give you the cry of the crown of life here's another church i know thy works tribulation poverty but you say you are rich right here the tribulation right here and then down here it says great tribulation in 2 2 great tribulation so are we in tribulation I believe we are in tribulation but not the great tribulation there's a difference between tribulation and great tribulation when he says down here he tells the woman to repent says the woman to repent in revelations he says says right here it says fear another oh well, right down here behold i will cast you in bed that commit adultery with you into great tribulation unless you repent of your deeds so in other words great tribulation there's a difference between great tribulation and tribulation we are in tribulation but just not great tribulation also too jesus referred to what's going to happen and coming up I, I had this on my other video, but I, that I didn't say anything. I am come to send fire on the earth. But what is it, will it, if it is already kindled? That's the stars from heavens falling as the dragon falling down. Jesus says, but I have a baptism to baptize with. How can it be established right here? Well, if you go to Leviticus chapter 2, it talks about the... Uh, uh, they will be mine, the 10%, the 10%, the first fruits. They are not baptized with fire. He says, don't touch them with fire. That's us. That's, that's us, the bride. We, don't, we aren't baptized with fire. I could go all over that if you would like me to and go into the Bible about that. Now let's go into Revelations chapter 11. Revelations chapter 11, this is talking about the two witnesses. Right here, it says, the Gentiles shall sell for 42 months. Okay, these are the two witnesses right here. It talks about the two witnesses. They will be in sackcloth and ashes right here for, for three, right here, same thing. Right here. Now, if you go to Revelations chapter 12, right here, it says the same thing. Time, time, and a half a time. This right here, I believe these two are right here, are at the same time. In other words, the two witnesses will be here at the same time. In other words, it's concurrently. Brenda Whitner believes the same thing. This is, first of all, the two witnesses. 
the two witnesses, for one thing, they're like John the Baptist. They are going to precede Jesus' coming. They are going to tell people to repent. They are in sackcloth and houses, turn to the Lord, repent of your deeds. The same thing John the Baptist did. John the Baptist was killed, just like the two witnesses will be killed. Same thing. And then Jesus comes and takes care of the Antichrist. That's what I believe. Okay, a lot of us do believe the same thing. So then, John the Baptist is the same as the two witnesses. And then as soon as they're done and they are killed, three days later they go up. Then Jesus comes and takes care of the Antichrist. That's what I believe. A lot of us do believe the same thing. So in other words, these day counts are concurrently. So when Satan is cast down, we go up as I stated. And then the two witnesses come. Some people believe that the two witnesses are here. First of all, if you go to uh, Blessed are he that is waiting daily at the gate, everybody would be waiting daily at the gate if the two witnesses were here telling people to repent. That's just very logical. If two witnesses are here around doing miracles, everybody's going to the wedding supper because nobody isn't going to be look everybody's going to be looking for the lord because the two witnesses are here doing miracles and they're going to be telling them to look to the lord so that doesn't even make sense that the two witnesses have to be here for two and a half years telling people to repent and then in doing miracles no satan and the two witnesses come at the same time okay that's what i believe a lot of people believe the same thing um also, too, um, as far as Nostradamus, I could go over Nostradamus if you want me to. He says that three princes will arise, and I can show you that. That's in the Nostradamus prophecies, as in my last video. He says three witnesses will arise, or three pro uh, princes will arise. Who are the three princes? When the two witnesses are here, then the antichrist is here those are the three princes one of them is a fallen prince and that's that's satan he's fell he comes down so anyway i wanted to explain that i'm still looking at the barley so here's january this date right here's a full moon as we'll be watching but my highest watch is as i said just because i'm my highest watch is also to trump something happened to trump Trump dying or something like that. I believe that's all happening this week. He's going to Georgia tomorrow, which is the 4th. We will see what happens with the court and all that situation. But I believe, and that's in the Bible. That's in Micah chapter chapter uh, 4, as I've said all along. I hope you're all doing well. And I put this whole video together because people were asking questions. And I wanted to answer their questions. And I hope you're all doing well. And like I said... Uh, you check this stuff out for yourself. You discern yourself because that's all I am. I'm, I am a nobody. Um, I just, uh, I'm telling you, I believe the Lord called me to do this. And uh, um, like I said, um, we are all watching together. And if I didn't have you guys, I would be alone. And I love you all. And uh, I thank you all. I love you all. I pray for you. Um, if there's anybody that needs prayer, I'll pray for you. If there's anything anybody needs, tell me, because I'm still working. Uh, I, I would share anything. Love you all, and I hope you're all doing well. Bye.